Friends of Ford's Corn on the planned government retreat saying it will not yield anything tangible to tackle the pressing issues in the country. Currently, the country is grappling with rampant corruption cases that have seen some legislators arrested and reminded with several still worried about that they could, that they could be summoned at the Criminal Investigation Department to make statements any time. It's high time the cabinet of Uganda tackled the issue of corruption once and for all. But our people are anguishing in, in poverty, they only hear their leaders and the government officials stealing money in returns, so it will cause us problems. So it's better, it's better that cabinet be cognizant of the fact that the entire region is seated on a time bomb of these youth. So it's better they look at ways of making them regain hope in their country. Well, they always talk about fighting corruption, but this has been an RM song since 1986. Nothing much is being done. And who can talk about corruption anyway in the Chankwans? The people would have talked about it, are part of it. But I think they are trying to galvanize the next elections processes. Corruption is not something that will stop in one or two days. But we should all join synergy to fight it as one of the cancers, as one of the diseases that can put the country down or that can lead to stunted uh, development. Some people don't seem to listen to the voice of the president that we need to start fighting corruption. Uh, the measures that have been put in place, maybe some of them have not worked out. New ones are still being uh, uh, brought onto the scene, the stage, so that uh, we can still curb it. It's uh, the president's big dream uh, that he wants to see this country corruption free. As the Electoral Commission moves to adjust the 2025-2026 election roadmap following delayed funding by the government, election experts fear there is a likelihood that the 2026 general election may not be free and fair. These argue that activities like field demarcation of electoral areas, general update of the voter register, display of voter register and others which were meant to be conducted between April and July 2024 have since been affected. The Electoral Commission recently revealed that it was considering reviewing its earlier launched roadmap to adjust on the timeline after the government failed to avail 1.1 trillion shillings it needed to organize 2026 general elections. Due to non-funding, the commission already missed out on activities like regional stakeholder engagement workshop, which was scheduled for June 22, 2024. National training of staff on roadmap and constituency demarcation, June 13 to 15, 2024. National training of staff on roadmap and constituency demarcation on June 13th to 15th, 2024. Field demarcation of constituencies, July 4th to 13th, 2024. General update of voter register at parish level, January 3rd to 24th, 2024. Missing out on these key activities has prompted election experts Charity Aimbisiwe and Crispin Kaheru to cast doubt on the credibility of the 2026 elections. For the process to be a clean process, it starts with a clean voters register. And so its timeline, which was January, should have been maintained. But it's going to be altered and the moment it is altered it already creates suspicions in the minds of the citizens it already uh, um, compromises the transparency of the electoral process because electoral processes are governed by accountability by transparency by fairness by freeness by association timely and uh, adequate funding of uh, electoral activities is essential for a free, fair and credible election. With the president approving the appropriation bill, it means that some months to come, the funds will be available and the commission could squeeze up most of the activities in the remaining time that may not favor the mobile character of mankind. So now if the transparency is already in question, you're going for a process which people will even feel less motivated to participate in. And it may not only disrupt the electoral roadmap, but it could actually, for some specific aspects, compromise the legality of some electoral activities. 
because some of these are cast in stone in as far as their timelines are concerned. 